MEI Self Setting Automatic Slack Adjuster is a clearance sensing brake adjuster which maintains optimal clearance between brake lining and brake drum. In addition, it works as a lever to move the brake shoe to the drum through the S cam. How does it work? When the brake is applied, control arm fixed onto the anchor bracket permits the mechanism to rotate through the clearance angle and the shoe contacts the drum. On further application, the torque increases and the worm shaft is moved axially, causing the heavy coil spring to compress and the disengagement of the clutch worm gear. During brake release, the torque decreases and the clutch mechanism advances, reducing the sensed excess clearance by rotation of the worm shaft in small increments. Full adjustment takes place after few brake applications and release. This gradual adjustment is design feature to eliminate over-engagement. Foundation Brake The movement of Sasa while braking in the foundation brake can be divided into three sections. The normal preset running clearance A for which no adjustment should be made. The excess clearance B when lining and drum wear and for which adjustment should be made. The elasticity of the braking system C which is caused by variable brake forces drum expansion and component flexibility for which no adjustment should be made. Brake application Starting position The control arm of the ASA is fixed to the anchor bracket in a position where suitable location is available on the vehicle. During the initial fitment position the control worm screw maintains a gap between pole housing and control worm screw by the torsion spring load. This is to determine the preset clearance that will be maintained between brake lining and the brake drum. Rotation through clearance zone A During the brake application, the pinion and ratchet is rotated by the control gear wheel in the control arm assembly due to the movement of the ASA body and the pole housing is also rotated along with the pinion and ratchet up to the preset gap between the stepped faces of control worm screw and pole housing. This ensures a predetermined clearance stroke. Simultaneously, the worm wheel is rotated in the counterclockwise direction along with Sasa body. In turn, the S cam shaft engaged with the worm wheel spline is rotated to lift the brake lining towards the brake drum. Rotation through excess clearance zone B. When there is excess clearance due to wear in drum and lining, the lining does not touch the brake drum during normal clearance stroke. During the further rotation, after passing through clearance stroke cycle, the ratchet mechanism in the pinion and ratchet gets a new engagement with the pole fixed to the pole housing. Rotation into the elastic angle C. Once the brake lining engages the brake drum, the reaction force increases and worm shaft moves axially compressing the heavy compression spring. The worm shaft is moved away from the clutch worm wheel serration and the clutch is disengaged. Brake release. Rotation back to the elastic angle C. The lever movement during this period of elastic zone is ignored. Rotation back into the clearance zone A. During brake release, the force is reduced and the load of the heavy compression spring moves the worm shaft to engage the clutch, preventing the free rotation of clutch worm wheel. During the further release movement of brake actuator, the body keeps rotating in the clockwise direction. The control gear wheel continues to rotate the pinion and ratchet. The control worm screw is retained in the same position and pole housing alone is rotated with the pinion and ratchet until the close gap between control worm screw and pole housing is restored. Eliminating the slack with rotation back through the excess clearance zone. During the final releasing rotation of automatic brake adjuster, the pinion and ratchet rotate the clutch worm wheel through the control worm screw. The worm shaft that is now engaged with clutch worm wheel is rotated and in turn rotates the worm wheel and S cam shaft to affect the adjustment of lining clearance. The sequence is repeated during the subsequent brake application and release until the preset lining clearance is arrived at.